We're going to get going. Hi, everybody. Just wanted to say good morning. We're going to start in a minute. Hello, Joyce. Hello, Janet. Hello, Sue. Hello, Ben. Esther's back there somewhere. Evie's back there somewhere. Hey, there's Evie. Hello. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Give us a couple minutes. We're just about to start. We're just getting settled here. Zoom makes us be prompt. I have to say, in the old days, we just sort of wait around. But, you know, we got people waiting. We got people waiting. All right, page 141. Go ahead, page 141. Oh my God, Sherry. Sherry's been, Sherry's been working out. I don't know. <laughs> There's a whole bunch right there, by the way, if you need more in that, in that thing. <laughs> All right, so we're going to begin on page 141, the last line in the Hebrew. And it picks up um, in the second to last line in the transliteration. Va'ani tefilati l'cha Adonai eit ratzon. And I, my prayer is for you, Adonai, may it be a, a good, a propitious time. Elohim berov chasdecha. God, in the greatness of your compassion, loving kindness, aneni be'emet yishecha. Answer me with true liberating power. Hai, dai, dai, e Continue with morning blessings, page 153. We'll chant the first blessing. I think we'll continue individually, and if you want to go through the blessings through page 161 in Hebrew or English, or take a, a minute just to do a bit of a body scan and check in, see how your body's doing, give gratitude for all the parts, and then we'll come together on 161. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu chei ha'olamim ha'ma'avir sheina me'ena yutnu ma'me'afapai Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu chei ha'olamim ha'ma'avir sheina me'ena yutnu ma'me'afapai Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu chei ha'olamim Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu chei ha'olamim ha'mechin metzadeka ve'baruch ata Adonai Ho'sotza ve'kotzorkim Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu Page 161 Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu chei ha'olamim Sh'asani b'tzalmo Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu chei ha'olamim Sh'asani bat chorim Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu chei ha'olamim Sh'asani Yisrael Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu chei ha'olamim Hanoten la ya'ev koach. Blessed are you, Adonai, source of strength for all those who are exhausted. And that's probably all of us. Page 163. Baruch atah, Adonai. 
Baruch atah Adonai Rofechol Basaru Maflila Asot. Blessed are you, Adonai, healer of all flesh. Page 165. Elohai, Nishama Shematata Bi, Tehorahi, Tehorahi. Nishama shenata tabi Tehorahi Tehorahi Ata virata Ata yitarta Vata misham rabi kirbi Tehorahi Ata virata Ata yitzarta Ve'ata mishamra bekirbi Tehorahi Tehorahi Elohai Nishama shenata tabi Tehorahi Tehorahi Nishama shenata tabi Tehorahi Tehorahi Page 177 Baruch she'amar Yachid Cheha Olami Melech Meshubach Mephora Deyad Shemoch HaGadol Baruch Ata Adonai Melech Mehulal Betish Bechot Blessed are you Adonai Hailed in songs of praise Good morning, welcome everyone Zoom room, the people room All the rooms are filling up That's awesome All right Page 209, I'm going to sing the beginning of the Mizmor Shir, the Yom HaShabbat, the psalm for Shabbat. The chorus line is not transliterated, unfortunately, but it's pretty simple. It's Magad Lu, Magad Lu, Magad Lu Ma'asecha How great are your creations, Ya. Ma'od amku machshavotecha. How deep your thoughts. And then the verses begin at the beginning. 
217. The world is so messed up, so I'm very drawn towards very upbeat psalms this morning. Lift our spirits, because you know what? Creation is great. However much we human beings are determined to completely screw it up, it is still great. So page 217, uh, no, no, not 217, sorry, 219, 219. So again, this is not transliterated, but pretty simple. The first two lines, Halali nafshi et adunai. My soul, praise the source. And then hallelujah. Halali nafshi et adunai. Hallelujah deserves another page 231, Psalm 150. So we've got folks from CDT Sings here. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 
Amen ve amen. May God's presence fill all the earth. Amen ve amen. It's 2.35. Do a Shefa's chant. Just call to mind for a moment. Just some way that you feel blessed this morning. Nishmat kol chai Tevarechet shimcha Nishmat kol chai Tevarechet shimcha Some folks keep that going Nishmat the breath of all life Blesses you, Nishma, the breath of all life. Blesses you, Nishma, the breath of all life. Blesses you, Nishma, the Times Nishma Kol Chai Tevarechet Shimcha Nishma the breath of all life blesses you. Two more breaths. Welcome, everyone. We're going to continue on 241, and there's this uh, central metaphor here of the divine dwelling on an exalted throne. Kisei uh, Ramvanisa. Um, so I sort of, it's like we're, we're invited as we sit in our exalted upholstered chairs here or if whatever exalted thing you're sitting on at home to uh, feel ourselves in the divine presence. So page 241. <laughs> 
Forty-three of in the congregations of tens of thousands. No David ben Ishtabach Shimcha Le'ad Malkeinu Your name be praised El Mecha Gadol Bakadosh Mashabach Brachot Vehodaot Me'ata Ve'ad Olam Baruch Ata Adonai El Melech Gadol Betish Bechot El Ahodaot Adon Haniflaot Habocher B'shirei Zimra Melech God of all thanksgiving, source of wondrous deeds, who takes pleasure in our song and melody, blessed is the one, the life of all worlds. Isn't it nice to think that there's something out there taking pleasure in our song and melody? I like that. I love that idea. So in a moment, we're going to uh, transition into the Shachrit service. Just want to say a few words about our service this morning, which is very special. So we're celebrating learning in many ways today, and uh, we're especially uh, celebrating a group of folks. How many t in total, Emmanuel, with you? Eleven. Eleven hearty souls. It's like a baker's minion. A baker's minion of hearty souls who took place what we called an adult b'nai mitzvah class, but which is sort of a misnomer, because first of all, all the Jewish folks in the class are already over 13, so they're already b'nai mitzvah. And as if you're non-Jewish folks in the class who aren't yet ready to be B'nai Mitzvah, but maybe one day will be, if they want to. <laughs> Looking at you, Chris, <laughs> and Valerie. Um, but it really was a group that del just delved very deeply into a, really the breadth of Jewish learning in so many ways. So those folks are gonna be participating in the service uh, in different ways. They'll be offering some reflections before some of the prayers, uh, leading, the, leading the Torah discussion, and, um, and having an, an aliyah. But we're also gonna be celebrating other learning as well. So just wanted to prepare you for that, and we'll be hearing some of their voices both in the room and via Zoom. So as we transition into Shachrit, page 245, I invite those who are able to rise in body or rise in spirit for the Chetzi Kaddish. Yitgadal v'yitgadash shemei rabah v'yalma divra chirutei v'yamlich machutei v'chayei chon v'yomei chon v'chayei d'cho b'yit Yisrael b'agala u'bizman kari v'imru amen Yehin shmei raba mevorach le'olam mu'al me'al ma'yah Yit barach v'yishtabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit roman v'yit nasei v'yit adar v'yit alev v'yit alal shmei d'kudusha v'erichu le'elam in kol b'rchata v'shirata tush b'rchata v'nechamata namiran v'yal ma'avim ruhu Amen Page 246 below the line as we bless the source of life, so we are blessed. As we bless the 
source of life, so we are blessed. And the blessing gives us strength and makes our vision clear. And the blessing gives us peace and the courage to dare as we bless the source of life so we are blessed Barhu et Adonai Hamevorach Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Le'olam Va'ed. You can be seated. We continue page 247. Baruch Adonai Adonai Elohim Uroach Ha'olam Yotzer Or Uvorei Choshech Vase Shalom Uvorei Et Ha'kohol 249. Ha'kol Yoducha Ve'ha'kol Yeshabechucha Let all beings acknowledge you Ha'kol Yomrein Kedushcha Ha'kol Yomrein Kedushcha Ameir la'aret alidirim aleha barachamim, the one that gives light to the earth and its inhabitants in compassion. Uvutuvo mechadesh b'choyom tamid ma'asevereshit, and in goodness makes new each and every day the work of creation. Page 253, 255 in transliteration. Yai dai dai, yai dai, yai dai, and dai dai dai. Yai da yai da yai da da yai da 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 yai da yai da yai da yai da 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 yai da oh el adon akol hamasim baruchum vorach ifi konishama gadlo betuvo maleolam da adutvu na sovevi moto. Habit Gael Chayotako, Deshvene Dorve Chavod, Ala Merkavo, Zuchu to Mishor, Lifne Chiso, Chesed Verachamim Lifne Chodo, Oitove Meorot Shebara Eloheinu Yetzaram Bedat, Bevina Uvaskel, Koahugvura. Natan Bahem, the Yon Moshlim, the care of Tevel, the Lame Zib, the Fikim Noga, no as if I'm the Hola Holom, Smechim, the Satan, the Sassim, the Voham, O Simbie, my Ritson, Conam, Pierre, the Havod, no Nim. Shmot sola verina le zecher malchuto kara la shemesh ba yizra chora hit kin sorat alvana oy shevach no nimlo kol zevam arum tiferetu gedula. Srafim be your fanim be chayot hakodesh. Hey, I die, die, I 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 die, First up, I'm going to invite Andy Cappellini, who's here with us all the way from Western Mass, to uh, share a reflection as part of the Yotzer blessing, which we're in the middle of, the blessing of nature, of, of creation. Many of us struggled with the idea of Jewish environmental justice in our adult B'nai Mitzvah class. The problems are so big and their impact is so widespread. Why then would we look through a Jewish lens? 
Creation is an ongoing process. Appreciating the beauty of the natural world allows us to see the possibilities contained in every day. Understanding our responsibilities to the world and each other as part of the continuation of creation encourages us to correct our course. We don't need to create a basis for Jewish environmental justice. It is already there. We just need to make a space and let it in. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Yashakoach. Thank you, Andy. Yes, creation is a process. Let us echo that on page 268 below the line. Every day creation is renewed. Wake up and see unfolding in the spreading light of dawn. The world on all it contains coming into being. New, fresh, filled with divine goodness and love. Every day creation is renewed. Reflected in the great lights we see a new day. One precious day, eternity. Page 269. <laughs>
Nagila venesmecha, Bishua teha. We have a yenu the shalom air back and photo address. We're going to do that in. Bring us close to your great name in truth. To acknowledge your unity in love. Baruch atah Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. Page 277. Israel Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echod Yahavta Adonai Elohecha Vechol Levavcha Uvechol Nafshecha Uvechol Meodecha Behayu Hadvar Im Haele Asher Anochi Mitzabecha Hayom Alevavecha Veshinanta ham levanecha, vidibar tabam, beshivtecha bevetecha, uvelechtecha hava derech, uvshoch becha uvekumecha, uksar tam leot al yadecha, behayulitota fod bene necha, uktav taham. Al mezuzo betecha uvisharecha. We continue individually the next page or the traditional second paragraph on 282 through 285. 283. Page 284. This is your seat seat. Look at it and remember all the mitzvot of the Eternal One and do them so you won't go off after the lust of your heart or after what catches your eye, so that you remember to do all my mitzvot and be holy for your God. I am Adonai, your God, who brought you from Mitzrayim to be for you a God. I am the infinite, your God. Adonai Eloheichem Emet 287 Emet v'yatziv v'nachon v'kayam v'yashar v'neaman v'tov v'yafeh ha'davar hazeh al avotenu v'alimotenu Yeah. 
Preparing for the Amidah. Stay standing. Chad, would you come up? So we have two special treats for the Amidah. We have another reflection from someone from the adult. My name is for class. And we have an upcoming bat mitzvah, Nina, who's going to lead us in the Amidah in a moment. So come on up, Nina. And then we'll have a reflection and then begin the Amidah on 295. One topic in our group learning that resonated with me was the idea of prayer as spiritual practice from Rabbi Evan Leader. Glasses are fogging up. <laughs> <laughs> Rabbi Leader makes the point that for tefillah, prayer, or any spiritual thing to be a practice, it has to have a goal. It can be a long or a short-term goal, but calling something a practice means that it should have a point, that it is going towards a goal. For the last year, my personal goal has been a relatively simple one. As I've been taking the adult learning and was working towards conversion, I have made the effort each service to pay particular attention to the words and commentary in the prayers we say. It is easy to say them without reflecting or understanding their meaning, especially since I don't speak Hebrew and I wanted to grow my understanding. Having a goal for my practice of prayer allows me to know what I'm trying to do and to know whether what I did during services that day moved me towards accomplishing that goal. It gives me agency over my spirituality and gives it a purpose. As we stand for the Amidah today, I encourage you to ask yourself the question, what are you trying to accomplish through your practice of prayer? Shabbat shalom. Thank you, Chad. All right, this way, we're going to face this way. We'll do a map. I don't know, Zephatai, or start with Brooke. Okay. Go for it. Yeah. Please, can we get this on? Uh, there we go. Try again. Remember that? Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Velohe Avotinu Vimoteinu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzhak Elohe Tagi bor leolam adonai, rav 
Shia, Hoshia, Morid Hatal, Mechakel Chaim Bechesed, Mechaye Kol Chai Berachamim Rami, So Mech Noflim Verofe Holim, Umatir Asurim, Mkayem Emunato. The shame of our Micha Mocha Baal Givu wrote Umi Domelach Melech me meet Umechaye Umats me a Yeshua Veleman Akta the Yod Kolchai Barachata Adonai Mechayei Kochai Asher Koach, page 303. Nekadesh et shimcha ba'olam Keshem shemakti shimo tov yishmei marohom Kakatuv al yad neviyecha Vekarazeh El Zeva Amar Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh Adonai Tzvahot Melochol Haaretz Kivodo אז וכל רעש גדול, אדיר וחזק משמיעים קול, מתנסים לעומת צרפים, לעומתם ברוך יומרו, ברוך כבוד אדוני ממקומו. ממקומך מלכנו תופיע ותמלוך עלינו כי מחכים אנחנו לך. מתי תמלוך בציון, בקרוב בימינו לעולם ועד תשכון. תתגדל ותתקדש בתוך ירושלים עירך, לדור ודור ולנצח נצחים. ועינינו תראנה, תראנה מלכותך, כדבר האמור בשיר לדור ודור הללויה, לדור ודור נגיד גד לך, ולנצח נצחים קדושתך נקדיש, ושבחך אלוהינו מפינו לא ימוש לעולם ועד, כי המלך גדול וקדוש אתה, ברוך אתה אדוני האל הקדוש. We'll continue individually either in the סידור a reflection and prayer of your own heart following Chad's instruction, just to set a little intention for these next few moments of silence for yourself, and then feel free to be seated as you finish.
So we'll close with a blessing for peace. The, you can find the Hebrew on 323, Hebrew and transliteration on 381. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Take a belt, slow down, about home, the Hobe Israel, can move home to Vishamaya, the Imeru. Amen. A hey, Shlama Rabbi Minshamaya, the Chaim, Aleno, the Alcol Israel, the Imeru. Amen. O say shalom, bim romav, who ya ase shalom. Aleno, the Alcol Israel, the Alcol Yoshve Tevel, the Imeru. Amen. So to share a reflection before the Torah service, I'm going to invite Pauline to unmute, and I'm going to invite Esti up, who's going to lead us in the Torah service in a moment. So take it away, Pauline. Good morning. Morning. I'm Pauline Roder in Springfield, Virginia. I've been a long-distance CDT member since Russia shut up 2020, when COVID interrupted my annual trips to Massachusetts to attend in-person services with my Watertown family. Since then, I've been attending Shabbat services via Zoom with particular interest in the Torah portions. To further enhance my learning, I attend weekly Torah and B'nai Mitzvah classes. Linking Torah text to rabbinical writings from different eras, as well as to contemporary thinkers, has offered me a way to read, interpret, and do Torah in my life and in my world today. I am truly amazed at the wisdom contained in these, this ancient text and challenged to find or reconstruct how this wisdom can apply to today's complex world. I invite anyone interested in learning with other curious adults to join the CDT class. Thank you. Thank you. Yasha Koach. Esti, come on up. You have a prayer book? <laughs> All right, page 383. Come on, sweet. Come on. And Dennis, I'll need the handheld as well. Yeah. Page 383. And Nina, would you come be the arc opener for, for Esti? Come on up. Right here, sweet. 383. Don't you know, put your seat door down. Come on, Esther. Right? Esti, right here. Ready? Go for it. 
Come on. Just in. in. Yep. And then straight into the. Just, just yep, yeah, yeah, right. right the, way the whole way, the whole page. Yep. In Kamokura. Oh, you gotta be a little louder. I mean, need a mic here. <laughs> Dennis. All right, lights and loud. In Kamokura, Elohim, I don't But in Kamasa, Malhu, Teha, Malhu. Just gonna have you open up from the bottom in a minute. In a minute. All who are able to please rise. Okay, next page. Come turn around. Okay, now. Oh, yep, all the way. Yeah, both sides. And we'll do Vayahi in one second, and then we'll go to the next page. Beautiful. Okay, Vayahi. Okay, start. Yep. Vayahi bin Sawahurun, Nina, you can come close it up. All right. So come back to this mic. SD and I are going to chant on page 383 and invite you all to chant in response. I'm sorry, 393. Nina, I think you just sort of click it. Yeah, there you go. You ready? Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai I don't 
Adonainu Kadoshemo. Then we're going to turn the face the earth. And we just bow a little bit on God Lou. Okay, ready? Turn it this way. God Lou Ladonai Eti Uneromema Shemo Yachta. Come march with me back to your seat. Lecha Adonai Hagedula Behagevura Behati Feret Vehanetach Vehahod Kihol Bashamayim Uvaaret Kihol Bashamay Uvaaret Lecha Adonai Hamam Lacha Vehamina Haseh Lechol Rosh Ramemu Ramemu Adonai Eloheinu Vehistachavu Vehistachavu Lehadom Raglav Kadoshu Ramemu Ramemu Adonai Eloheinu Vehistachavu there, you can be seated. Are you going to say something? Great. All right, can we have a, a twinkle in the Asher Koach to Nina and Esti for being brave and getting up here? A little practice run. Stay tuned few weeks for Esti in middle of August for Nina. Yasha Koch to our beat for Pauline and Chad and Andy for those really incredible, beautiful reflections. It's wonderful. And stay tuned, there's more to come. So before we dive into Torah, I'm going to invite Ernest to say a few words. You can write that, yeah. Hi, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. It's such a joy to be here and celebrate the, uh, the accomplishment of the adult B'nai Mitzvah class and Emmanuel's work and all the learning that's happened at CDT this year. It has been so fun and such a joy to learn with many of you over the course of this year. In thinking about a blessing for our learners, I was thinking about the line in Ve'ahafta that the words, that these words shall be upon your heart. And the Kotzka rabbi, a famous Hasidic rabbi, says that um, it, he notices that it says the word should be on your heart and not in your heart. And there's an idea that uh, whether it's aches or breaks in our heart, that the words are available when we need them to seep in. And I was also thinking about the image of um, topsoil and how our life is dependent on this relatively small layer of soil around our earth that is full of nutrients. But the roots go really deep into the earth, but the topsoil is there as a slow release mechanism of providing us nourishment. So my hope is that all of your learning from this year be like that topsoil slowly releasing to provide you nourishment, a source of joy and resilience, and when there are aches and breaks your Torah is there to support you. Mm. Um, I have so loved learning the Torah from, that each of you have um, in the times that I've been able to come into contact with it. Um, and my hope is that th your studies have woven you deeper into the web of our very ancient tradition, deepening the web of our community, and that in some small way it helps you feel more connected to the web of all of creation, discerning your right place in the world, your belonging in the world to yourself, the community, and the more than human world. Um, so happy to celebrate with you all. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Amen, amen. Yasha koach. Beautiful. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to invite Sue up to be our first reader. Can I have a volunteer for Gabai Shaini? Thank you, Debbie. Uh, so we are beginning a new book of the Torah today, Bamidbar in the Wilderness. The 
This is going to be for Chris when the, for the last Alia. Okay. Yeah. And it's, this is really easy to find a spot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really, there it is. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so we are beginning on page 769 in the, in the Eitz uh, Chaim. Uh, there should be a link to what we're going to be reading um, in the chat for folks on Zoom if you don't have a chumash. It's the very, very beginning of the Book of Numbers, um, 769. And there are two names for this book. Um, it's called Numbers. I think that comes from the Greek translation, and you'll see why. This is basically like a geometry quiz or something, the, today's parsha. Um, but in Hebrew, it's called Bamidbar in the wilderness because that's the uh, first um, sort of word of meaning in the, in verse, in the first verse. Yedaber Adonai el Moshe Bamidbar. So God spoke to Moses in the wilderness. This parsha always falls right before Shavuot, which starts tonight, and connects, so the rabbis connect the fact that, that the Torah was received in the wilderness. So these are our aliyot today. The first aliyah is open, so first, if anybody either um, on Zoom or here in the room has an occasion you'd like to mark, but I also wanted to dedicate it to wilderness, so either if you're feeling a little bit like you're lost in a wilderness and you need a little support, a little magical water and manna and stuff to help you get through, um, or if you want to make yourself as open as a wilderness to receive Torah, that will be the first aliyah. Second aliyah, we're going to celebrate the adult B'nai Mitzvah class. You know who you are, again, both on Zoom and here. The third aliyah will be all learners, so anyone who studied in any way at Dorshe this year, whether it was to Monday morning Torah study, the Musar class, the Amidah class. I think I taught a class this year. Did I teach a class? Yes, I Huh? The tour of money. Oh my God, my brain. Yeah, that was this year, not 25 years ago. Yeah, so uh, tour of money. Anyway, any learning you've done at, at Dorshe, come up for the third aliyah. Um, in the fourth aliyah, we're going to honor our teachers, Emmanuel and, and Ernest. So, first aliyah, again, in honor of wilderness, either getting through it, becoming open like it, or if you have any other occasion you would like to mark. Via Azor, via Gain, via Sheila, Hola, Hosim Bova, no Mar, Amen. A cold Havogol, Lohenu, Havod Torah, Yamdu, Lalia, Rishona, Baruchna, Tan Torah, Lemo, Israel, Big Duhu, Chateau, but Hem Hyde became an Ilo, Hey, Hem, who's slightest way? Ha, Hem, Hi, oh. Do you want to come touch? Great. Oh, actually, we can move my guitar out of the way. We just come up to the mic and to the Torah. That would be great. Go for it. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Be'olam Ba'en Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Be'olam Ba'en Baruch Adonai Elohim Melech Olam Asher Kirvanu Le'aratu V'natam Lanu Et Torato Baruch Adonai Amen. Amen. I don't know. I don't know. I don't May Eretz Mitzrayim lemor su'u am et rosh koab da'at b'nei Yisrael l'mishpachotam l'vehit avotam b'mispar shemot kol zachar l'gulotam mi ben esrim shana v'mala Ko yotze tzava b'Yisrael tifkedu otam l'tzivotam atava haron idchem yihu ish ish lemata ish rosh levet avotav hu ve'ela shemot ha'anashim asher ya'amdu hu idchem. Lehuvein elitzur ben shadei ur l'shimon shlumiel ben surishadai l'yehuda nachshon ben aminadav 
If you guys would come back up into the middle by the by the mic under here. Any special occasions besides wilderness? Oh my God. Nice. May the one who blessed our ancestors bless you, have risen today, to the honor of Torah, in honor of Shabbat, in honor of wilderness, in honor of your daughter graduating college and your birthday. Do you want to tell us which one? Or does it matter? The Beatles song. The Beatles song. Ooh, okay. Hamevin <laughs> Yavin. By this merit, for those of you who are feel like you're making your way through a wilderness, may you receive the strength, the insight, the courage to know that you are not alone, that many of us are on this journey together, and that surprises and nourishment from rocks and other hidden places can pop up at any time. If you are seeking to make yourself open as the wilderness, may you be able to let go of what needs to be able to let go of in order to receive. And uh, for you, Bob, may uh, this weekend of, the last weekend of Mazal Tov continue, and may, um, May you, just, may you just shine in this year of 64. May it be a fabulous, beautiful yeah. year. Yom Huledet Sameach, Yom Huledet Sameach, Yom Huledet Sameach, Yom Huledet Sameach. Blessings to all of you. You guys can have a seat. All right. Elaine is going to chant for us verses 17 through 19. Miriam sends her regrets. She had some symptoms, so did not come in. We're going to honor all those who took, took part in the adult B'nai Mitzvah class, both if you're on Zoom, please do the bracha, as well as those here. Ya'amdul aliyashenit. And what's the first word? Oh, you're doing it here, right? Oh, sorry, you're here. It's the next one. Listen. <laughs> come on up. <laughs> Emmanuel, you get your own aliyah, so you know, these are just the students. Yeah, you get, you get your own, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I know, he's gonna, I'm going to invite him up to, to bless you, but will one of you come in touch where uh, Elaine shows you? It's, it's here, it's right here. Yep. Are you proud? Yep. Are you proud? Yes. Anybody who'd like to touch with your tali right here? Beautiful. Okay. Would you guys come up towards the Torah and towards the middle so we can hear you? Oh, wait, and we're going to start. Can I have the green sheet? Yeah. What happened to that sheet I gave you, Debbie? Oh, Chris has got it. Then, Chris, I need you to come over here to the mic. Okay. All right, Chris, go first. Go for it. Blessed is the source of life who has brought me into loving relationship with Jewish people and with Torah. Amen. Blessed is the source of Torah. Amen. Go for it. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Le'olam Amen. 
Amen. Vayikach Moshe v'aharon. Eit anashim ha'ela asher nikvu v'shemot v'et kol ha'eda hikilu b'echad l'chodesh ha'sheni Yaldu al Mishpechotam, Leve Tavotam, the Mis Parshemot. Me Benes Rim Shana Vamala, the Gulgalotam, Kasher Tziva Adonai et Moshe. Vaif kadeim b'midbar Sinai. I like to want to touch again with your talit. And Emmanuel, I'll invite you up now. Closing blessing, and then Chris will do the, the closing. Yeah. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Halam Asher Natan Lanu Torah Demet Bechai Olam Natan Adonai Baruch Atah Adonai Tatein HaTorah Amen Bless us as one source of life by the light of your presence and teaching. Amen. Amen. I'm going to invite Teacher Emmanuel to give a blessing to this crew. So I want to face you and face our group members on Zoom. On my way here, I was thinking of the Pesach song. Achadasar mi odeya. Who knows 11? Achadasar mi odeya. I know 11. <laughs> So I'm really grateful to give a Misha Berach to you all. And I was thinking if someone were to ask me, what's a Misha Berach? I would say, you know, a Misha Berach, <laughs> <laughs> like a blessing. And that's true. Uh, but for those who know Hebrew know that Misha Berach is actually an interesting compound word. It has two prefixes, me, the one, she, who, blessed. And then we list our spiritual ancestors, Abraham and Sarah and so on, basically saying, we know some blessed people, Abraham and Sarah, and we want to be blessed just like them. And with great respect to Abraham and Sarah, I was thinking, <laughs> I know some more blessed people. <laughs> and I want you all to be blessed like some of the blessed people that I know. So I'll say, Misha Beirach, the one who blessed. And here I'm going to embarrass each of you for just a millisecond. The one who blessed Alec with the creativity to experiment with ritual. The one who blessed Helene with the humility and love to recognize when our Torah sometimes falls short. And the one who blessed Danielle with the pursuit of justice, always with listening and partnership. And the one who blessed Andy with the passion to always look up the sources <laughs> and go deeper. And the one who blessed Chad with a personal journey that never forgets others. And the one who blessed Steve, thinking about what Ernest said about the heart, who always knows how to get to the heart of the matter in just one word. You should ask him about this, finding one word to summarize what we've learned. It's a beautiful trick. Sherry, the one who blessed Sherry with humor that connects and cares. The one who blessed Chris with always seeing the humanity in literature and history. And for our folks on Zoom, the one who blessed Valerie with the compassion and presence of an educator and the one who blessed Pauline with a voice for singing and an ear for Torah and the one who blessed Sivan with a commitment to equity within Judaism and beyond. Bless this whole group <laughs> in honor of Shabbat and in honor of the Torah and not only the Torah that's before us, but in honor of the Torah 
that you've all learned this whole year, and that includes the Torah of Shabbat, the Torah of the Shabbat service. These were all classes we did. The Torah of God. We solved it in just one class. <laughs> the Torah of prayer. The Torah of the Talmud. That was two classes. The Torah of Hanukkah. The Torah of Purim. The Torah of the afterlife. And the Torah of mourning. The Torah of the pursuit of economic justice and environmental justice and criminal justice, three classes. The Torah of Reconstructionist Judaism with Rabbi Toba. The Torah of Counting the Omer and the Torah of Kabbalah and the to Torah of Kashrut, of Keeping Kosher. So in honor of all that Torah that you've learned, HaKadosh Baruch Hu Yishmerem V'yechem Mikol Tzara V'tzuka Mikol Nege Machala. May you be healthy. May be successful in all your continued learning and all you do. With your entire community. Amen. 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 Thank you, Emmanuel. Yes, you can. Uh, yes. All right. You all can have a seat. Yes, Emmanuel. Beautiful. Thank you. Yes, Oof. And thank you for setting an example for our upcoming B'nai Mitzvah that Jewish learning does not stop at 13. It barely begins. All right. So Elaine is going to continue chanting for us. Verses 20 through 25. I would like to invite up anyone else who did other... Jewish learning at Dorshe this year in any fashion with me, with Ernest, with Emmanuel, with, with Aura, with the current Amidah class, um, any, any learning that you've done with Dorshe, we're going to celebrate learning for this Aliyah. Ya Amdul Aliyah, Shlishit, and then this begins. Are you going to follow? Yeah, yeah. Would someone just come touch right here, Mary? Beautiful. All right, you guys not, would you come up to the Torah, not so far away, all the way up, all the way up. All right, you guys ready? Shalosh, Arba. Blessed are thy Hamarach, Baruch Adonai Hamarach, Le'olam Ha'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamarach, Le'olam Ha'ed. Baruch Atah Adonai, Elohim Melech Ha'olam, Asher Kervan Lulavodato, Verse 20, we begin the counting. Where if we begin the counting? Tam la mishpachotam la ve tavotam, the mispar shemot, le gulgalotam, kozachar, umen uben, me ben esrim, shanava mala, kol yotse tsava. Pekude hem lamate reuven, she shava arbaim elef vechamesh meot. Leave ne shimon, told otam lamishpachotam leve tavotam, pikudav. Bemis par shemot le gulgalotam kozachar. 
Mi ben esrim shanava mala kol yotze tzava. Pikude hem lemate shimon tish avechamishim elef. Usha Loshmeot Livne God told Otam the Mishpachotam Leve Tavotam the Mispar Shemot Me Ben Esrim Shanava Mala Kol Yotse Tsava Pikude hem lemate God, Hamisha va arba im elef, the sheish me od, the Hamishim. Shkach. Guys, come back up. Baruchata Adamai, Elohim, you melech alam. Asher Natan Lame Torah Emet, Vehaye Olam Natam Betokhenu, Baruch Ata Adonai, Noten HaTorah. Amen. Yes. Mi Shebeirach Avotinu Avraham Yitzhak V'Akov Imotenu Sarah Rivka Rechel V'Leah. May the one who blessed our ancestors bless you who have risen today to the honor of Torah and honor of Shabbat and honor of learning by this merit. May all the Torah learning you did this year be for a blessing. May it be for your own enrichment. May it help you live into who you want to be in this world and may it be for the greater healing of this world. And let us say, Amen. 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 And before we do the next Aliyah, Elaine is going to bench Gomel for coming through a harrowing situation. Okay. We are very glad you are okay. So um, it is on page 401. Elaine is going to um, say the blessing in Hebrew and English, and then we will respond to a female. Go for it. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam ha'gomel l'chayavim tovot shegemalani kol tov. Amen. Blessed are you, abundant one, our God, the sovereign of all worlds, who bestows good things on one in debt to you, and who has granted me all good. Amen. May the one who has bestowed upon you good continue to bestow upon you good, and let it be so. We are glad you're okay. All right. All right, final Aliyah, Matthew is going to chant for us. And I would like to honor our two of our amazing teachers, Ernest and Emmanuel. Ya amod bina shoshana mi beit sar Rachel va Arye Lev, ya amod Emmanuel Avraham ben Esther va Chaim, Rivi Eats, right? One of these. Who are you? Yeah, there it is. Yep. Okay. Cool. And you can just back up. This guy is. Yep. Sorry. Yehuda. Yeah, there Baruch Adonai Hamorach Leolam Ba'ed Baruch Adonai Hamorach Leolam Ba'ed Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Continue verse 26. Amen. Lifne Yehuda Toledotam Lemish Pechotam Leve Tavotam Bemis Pashamot Mi Ben Esrim shana vamala koho yotze tava pekudehem lemate Yehuda arpa ah vashiv im elef veshesh mehot 
lieb, nee, Yisachar, toledotam, le mishpechotam, levet avotam, bemis par shemot, mi ben esrim shana, Vamala kol yotze tzava pekudehem lemate yisaha arpa vahamishim helef verba me ohot liv ne zevulun toledotam lemishpachotam levet avotam vemis parachemot mi ben esrim shana vamala ko yotze tzava pekudehem lemate zevulun shiva Shiva Vahamishim Helef Verba Meot Ishkach Ishkach Was it? Was I Elohim him in Melacholam, I share not on my new Torah, and that the Haye Olama top at the new Baruch at the nine of Tame at Torah. Amen. Misha Berah Abu Tainer of Raham Yitzak via Kovi Motena Shraf Kara Helvalea. May the one who blessed our ancestors bless you who have risen today to the honor of Shabbat and Mamash in honor of Torah. So in gratitude for the Torah that each of you has conveyed this year to both adults and children. I don't know if people know this, but you got to see a manual with a whole bunch of third graders. It's, a, <laughs> it's pretty amazing, <laughs> as skilled as he is with adults. So for all the gifts of Torah that each of you has brought to children this year, to adult learners, the Torah you have brought from the knowledge that you carry, the Torah you have brought just from the beautiful neshamas that you each are, the Torah that you have brought from your engagement with the world and its heartaches and its beauties. May you feel the blessing of this community. May you feel our appreciation. May you know that your Torah is now out in the world in new ways. Each one you have taught is now a teacher in some way out there, bringing that Torah to the world. Um, and Emmanuel, we're gonna let go a little far away. He's gotta go to Israel next year, but my, my hope is we'll have you back in some capacity in the future to learn with us again. Ernest, for all that you bring and will continue to bring to Dorshade Tzedek, the most profound gratitude, and just may you both find blessing and success in all that you do. And let us say, Amen. Toda Rabba. All right. Before we lift and wrap the Torah, we're going to do a blessing for healing. Um, folks on Zoom, I'll invite you to put names in the chat, and the blessing for healing should be on the same sheet uh, with the Torah reading. For folks here, the blessing can be found in the back um, cover, uh, pasted into the back cover of the Yitz Chaim. If you have a name, a Hebrew or English, that you'd like to share, I'll go around the room and then I'll share a few names. Yeah. Oh, was there someone else over here? Yeah. Chanaleya bat Shira Sivan, Golda bat Irma, Tamaleya bat Karnit, 
Alana Bat Yaakov, Chaim Ben Chaya, Daniel Ben Shula, Steve Hurstein, Maurice Coder, Nachama Tzipora Bat Henya, Harav Tzvi Ben Leah, Geraldine Weichman, Barry Weichman, Bat Shira Bat Ilana. Mi avoteinu mekor habracha strength who bless the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say amen Mekor ha bracha ha liavoteinu. Bless those in need of healing with rifua shelema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say. Amen. May there be a complete healing of body and of spirit to all those whom we mentioned, all in our community who are ailing, all whom we hold in our hearts, and let us say, Amen. Amen. I have two volunteers, one to lift and one to wrap the Torah. Anybody feeling up for lifting? It's sort of in the middle-ish. Lifting? All right. Emily, can I have a wrapper? Anyone? Come on up, Danielle. Those who are able, I invite to rise. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Vezo ta Torah, Eitz Chaim Hi, Lemachazikim Bahavetom Cheha, Meushar, Eitz Chaim Hi, Lemachazikim Bahavetom Cheha, Meushar. <laughs> you can be seated. So for our Devar Torah, I'm running up Sherry from the Adult B'nai Mitzvah class. Take it away, Sherry. Hello. Shabbat shalom, everybody. Uh, so I, I don't have profound learning for you today, <laughs> but I'm hoping you have profound learning for all of us because what I'm going to do is just sort of introduce you to some observations that I made as I was going through number, I actually, I, I made a few notes. <laughs> um, and uh, <clears throat> I would just love to hear your observations of some of the things that I noticed. So um, mostly I want to talk about um, the establishment of order, the assignment of roles, especially outsider status, responsibilities. Um, and uh, I'll, I don't have time to get into the other things. Okay, anyway, so you know, the, beginning, the beginning of numbers, there's the counting. And then shortly thereafter, um, there is the assignment of who's gonna be where, right? The, the tribes are each assigned a particular position relative to the tabernacle. There are 12 of them. It's kind of like a pie chart. And with every wedge, the same. Um, bear that in mind, because the concept of a fixed pie is going to come up. So, also this afternoon in our study. Okay, um, so one of the things that um, happens three times in the Torah, it says that any outsider who encroaches on the tabernacle was to be put to death. It says that 
um, on page 774, so follow along with me, page 774, 151, it says it again on 778 at 310, and it says it again at 781, 338. And each time it says, any outsider, well the translation is, any outsider who encroached was to be put to death. Outsider. Eh, different translations and different interpretations. Some mean outside of the Levites. Some of them mean outside of um, the priests, the just Aaron and his sons. Some, um, you know, anybody outside of all the tribes of Israel. It's like, what, what exactly is the outsider? And I was wondering, who's going to put them to death? So that's one thing, because um, all the tribes, that census that was taken, all that numbering, was of men who were 20 and older who are able to bear arms. So um, all the people who could fight, all the people who could um, go to war or protect the tribes. Um, and I, the, but the, the Levites have no weapons. They're the ones who are protecting the most sacred part of what the Israelites have, and that is the Torah. They are, I mean, the, uh, the, the sanctuary, the, the tabernacle. They're the ones who are protecting that, and they have no weapons. So um, I was wondering, who, who is going to be putting someone to death, and how would they do it? Now, that may seem kind of inconsequential, but I noticed that the word for outsider, outsider, is the word, and I don't speak Hebrew, I don't read Hebrew, I don't know Hebrew, so this is a big deal for me, okay? I noticed that Zion Resh, Zar, is the word that gets used in each of those three times. Outsider, or not necessarily outsider, someone who's unauthorized. Unauthorized by whom? Right? Authorized or unauthorized, all right. And czar also is the word that gets used for the fire that burns up um, uh, Aaron's first two sons, Nadib and Abihu. So it's like, wait a second. I went back and I looked at that. And in that one, God's fire burns them up, right? And it says, okay, they, they die. And they're mentioned, they're mentioned multiple times in the Torah. And they're mentioned in the book of Numbers um, in an interesting way, uh, interesting to me. Um, so on page 777, um, on verse, chapter 3, it says, this is the line of Aaron and Moses at the time that Adonai spoke with Moses on Mount Sinai. These were the names of Aaron's sons, Nadab, the firstborn, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. Those were the names of Aaron's sons. It says twice, these are the names of his sons. These are the names of his sons. And it says, you know, they were the ones ordained for the priesthood. But Nadib and Abihu died by the will of God when they offered czar, fire, unauthorized, strange, alien, what kind of fire? Okay, um, before Adonai. So it's like, okay, okay, remember, remember, there were four, now there are two, okay? And also, it's God speaks to Aaron and Moses. Usually it says Moses and Aaron. It's Aaron and Moses. And then it gets to, again, follow with me here, um, on... Um, Page uh, 784, um, uh, 415, God basically says, don't let the Kohatites, the Kohatites are the members of the tribe who are going to be carrying the, um, the, the most sacred objects. They're going to be carrying those pieces when the tribes move. Um, and God says, don't let them touch these objects until those objects are covered. And then God says to Moses and Aaron and 
the remaining two sons, Eleazar and Ithamar, they're responsible for making sure that the Kohatites don't even see these items, lest they die. It's like, wait a second. Who's being protected from what? Who's being protected? So is Aaron, are Aaron and his son supposed to protect the Kohatites? Are they protecting what's inside the tabernacle? Who, and it doesn't say, will be, you know, will be put to death. It says they'll die. And it doesn't say how they're gonna die. Is it because of fire again? Again, they keep mentioning Nadib and Abihu, Nadib and Abihu, the two sons. So here are my questions. Who's doing the protecting? Who or what is being protected? Who's doing the authorizing? And what are people being authorized to do? What makes something strange or other or alien? You know, I, there are a lot of people in this room today who are czar, who are outsiders, who are other who are strange in some way. I'm thinking, wow, this is my dad's talit. I have three brothers who all became bar mitzvah. I wasn't allowed. I wasn't allowed to go to classes because I was a girl. Yes, my father was very traditional. Um, and he would be shocked to see me because I'm other. I'm other doing this. Our rabbi is other. All the women in this shul are other. There are a number of people in this shul and on Zoom, hello Zoomers, um, who are converts, who were not born into Judaism. There are a number of people who aren't planning on becoming converts. Um, yes, that's Christopher, <laughs> just to name him. Um, there, who, so who makes them other? And to go back to that whole thing about the fixed pie, um, here's a little plug for the, the, uh, the group. Understanding Racism is going to be reading as a group, and you're all invited to join us, a book called The Sum of Us, How Racism Hurts Us All, basically. And it talks about the fixed pie mentality. So, you know, you've been hearing a whole lot lately about, um, oh, the, uh, um, oh, what's the term? So, yes, white supremacy, but the thing about the replacement theory, right? Yeah, thank you, John. <laughs> replacement theory says, oh, we can't let those others in because they're gonna take away from our fixed pie. And the premise in some of us is that it's not a fixed pie. It's not. It can just keep expanding. There's room for everybody. So I would just love to hear from you all your thoughts about the fixed pie, the zero-sum game, otherness, pretty much anything. How much time do we have, Toba? Four minutes. Can Four you... minutes. <laughs> so, it, do you wanna, so are you asking people to focus on the parsha or in the world? It's very large. Yes. Okay, and folks, I'll say to folks on Zoom, I can see your comments, so if you want to add anything, I'm going to let you pass this around, and I will keep an eye on the comments. Okay, so it's obviously, it's very broad. I'm just sort of wondering what struck you as you were listening and as you think about this, or about othering. Anybody? Yes. Yes, I get to play Oprah. <laughs> Do I get a car? Um, when you talked about the, the devices, okay, all of the things that people weren't supposed to touch or even look at, I started to have a flash to the earlier days, and really even today, of folks who deal with technical equipment. Like, in the early days of computing, it, 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 you were not allowed to go into the system room, you weren't allowed to touch it, don't, the system administrator would say, don't even look at that thing, okay? <laughs> So we've got these technical devices, and even today we've got technical devices, and yes. right, and only certain people should touch them, and only certain, and let me cover that, let me put it in the case before you move it. So we don't know what's going on with these really weird devices, but they need, the devices need protection, we need protection from the devices, it's, it's very unusual, thank you for bringing it up. Oh, thank you, yeah. Who's next? You can just 
just ask questions. You know, you don't have to have any. Just, just wanted to say that this past weekend there was a gay pride march in Jerusalem as there is every year. And there are always death threats. And there was a murder a few years ago at the gay pride march. And I'm thinking about the fact of Jews. This was Jews saying that other Jews do not belong and death to them. And that is very literal in our own Jewish world. <laughs> Um, so, with the people not being allowed to touch or even look at the objects, um, in order for Abraham and those people to cover the objects, they would have to touch them, maybe, and look at them. So, so what makes Abraham and those people so different that they get privileged to touch them, but the other people don't? Yeah, good question. Yeah, good question. And I think that's, is that all we have time I for? I think one more. One more question. And if one anybody more on Zoom wants to add one something. One more. Yeah. Over here. This is so much fun. We're getting you exercise, Sherry. So. <laughs> I make a connection between this idea <clears throat> of othering and this idea of ordering with sort of the open question of who gets to decide what the order is and who the other is. And you know, if you look at the, the whole thing that you were talking about a minute ago with um, what's happening is in Israel, at every level of Israeli society, and we kind of see it here too with our society, there are people who have taken on themselves the idea of deciding what is kosher and what is not. Who's allowed to vote and who's not allowed to vote? or even who's allowed to have a polling place at which to vote. So we sort of see the, the, the danger in ordering is that as soon as you declare that there's going to be an order, then you are inviting people to decide what that order is going to be, who gets to be closest to the tabernacle and who doesn't, and who gets to be in the presence or, or making decisions about what's kosher and what's not. Thank you. Well, thank you on this uh, celebration of learning for learning with me and uh, teaching each other. And Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Yesha Koach, Sherry. Beautiful. I mean, Sherry, you're leaving me with the question of, you know, I don't, can human beings organize themselves without ordering? I mean, we like to look at other people's ordering and critique it, but I know in all the little social media bubbles that many of us or other bubbles we exist in, doesn't everybody do that? Isn't there people that aren't allowed in or when they do certain, they cross a certain line, they're out. Um, and so there's something in us as humans that thinks, you know, and, and so you've really lifted up how that, how that happens. Um, and I wanna, and Eva, your, your question made me think about, the rabbis say, why were Moses and Aaron allowed into the Holy of Holies? Why, why were they the only ones who could touch and look at it? because they had to be constantly in a state of purity. They had to maintain themselves at all times. Because if you weren't in that state, nobody would kill you. It was like you would go into the nuclear reactor, you would go into the system where you shouldn't be. That takes a lot of work to stay in that state constantly, and most of us can't, can't manage it, which is, which is interesting. So thank you so much. Yesha Koach, I, love, was, I got to do some pre-work with Sherry. It was really, all of your questions were fabulous. That's why I love seeing new eyes on the Torah. It's, it, it's great. Beautiful. All right, we're going to put away the Torah, and we have a beautiful kiddush lunch awaiting us with deep thanks to all of Emmanuel's students who are feeding our bellies as well as our, our souls today. So we are back on 4.33. Nina, can I ask you to come back up and do the ark again? I invite those who are able to please rise. Page 4.33. Ya hallelujah, shem Adonai, ki nizgav shemo levado. Hodo al Eretz v'shamayim v'yarem keren liyamo tila lechol hasidav livne Yisrael am kerovo hallelujah hallelujah page four forty one. 
We stay standing for Aleinu, page 445. Aleinu l'shabeach Va'anachnu korim u'mishtachavim u'modim lifne melech malche hamlachim hakadosh baruchu shehunot hashamayim ve'yoser aretz u'moshav yikaro b'shamayim imal. Ushrin atu zoho begov he meromim. Hu eloheinu enod. Emet malkeinu efezulato. Akatu betorato. Viadata hayohom vehashevota. Eleva vecha. Adonai hu ha Elohim Bashamayim imahal V'yal ha'aretz, v'yal ha'aretz Mi'itachad e'inod 449 Kakatu v'toratecha Adonai imloch le'olam va'ed V'ne'emar v'haya Adonai L'melech al kol ha'aretz B'yom ha'hu, b'yom ha'hu Yehye Adonai echad U'shemo, u'shemo, u'shemo I invite those in mourning or observing a yort site to remain standing. Those, or if it's your custom to stand for Kaddish, others can have a seat. Folks on Zoom, if there is anyone you are remembering today, please put their name in the chat and I will do my best to read those. And if you are in mourning or observing a yort site and would like to share the name of who you're remembering, yeah. Tony is remembering Dick Meyerson. Anyone else on Zoom? Okay, feel free to keep adding names. We're on page 451. Jonathan says, my mom, Edith Magaziner, Esther Bat Binyamin Vadina. Yitgadal v'yitgadash shemei rabba. Yalma divra chirute v'yamlich machute. Bachaye Hon of Yome Hon of Haye de Hol de Israel, Bagala of his man Kariv Imru, Amen, Yehe Shme Rabba Mavorach, Leolam Walme Almaya, Yit Barach, Vish Tabach, Vit Paar, Vit Ramam, Vit Nase, 
Viet Hadar, Viet Ale, Viet Halal, Shme de Kurisha, Brihu, the Ela, Minkol, Birhata, Vishirata, Tushbehata, Venechamata, Damiran, Bialma, Vimru, Amen, Yehe, Shlama, Raba, Minshamaya, Vahayim, Alenu, Vialkod, Yisrael, Vimru, Amen, Use Shalom, Bimromav, Hu Ya Ase Shalom, Alenu, Vial Kol Yisrael, Vial Kol Yoshvei Tevel, Vimru, Amen. You can be seated. Oh, say Shalom, Vimru, Mav, Hu Ya Ase Shalom, Alenu, Vial Kol Yisrael, Vimru, Vimru, Amen. Ya ase shalom, ya ase shalom, shalom aleinu v'yachu Yisrael. Ya ase shalom, ya ase shalom, shalom aleinu v'yal kol yoshvei tevel. It shouldn't be you because you're getting the mazel tov. <laughs> And Sherry is back to offer some <laughs> announcements. <laughs> okay. I, this time I'm up here as a member of the board. So, okay. So, uh, Mazel Tov Yashir Kowak to Emmanuel and the adult bat mitzvah students, including me. And a warm welcome to all our members, families, and guests. And everybody on, on Zoom. Uh, for details about upcoming events and Zoom links, please visit the CDT calendar. Here are some highlights for the coming week. Okay, this it's a lot. And um, <laughs> these are all invitations. So here, today, after services at 1245, up here in the sanctuary, the Understanding Racism Group invites you to launch our new project, the reading and discussing of The Some of Us, What Racism Costs Everyone and How We Can Prosper Together by Heather McGee. For those of you Zooming in, stick around in the same Zoom room. We'll be here. Tonight at eight is um, Shavuot. We'll begin Tikkun Le'el Shavuot. We'll kick off with a hybrid talk by Rabbi Toba on her new book, Yay, God is Here, <laughs> Reimagining the Divine, and then go into an exciting lineup um, of member-led workshops that will go until midnight. See the calendar listing for the full schedule. If you are still up for learning because we're just learning and learning. Um, and afterwards, or want to start earlier, feel free to join Temple Sinai for a Boston community Tikkun Zoom Shavuot, starting at five this afternoon, going until six tomorrow. And tomorrow, this is not a learning thing, but tomorrow at 10, cheer on the CDT Tzedek men <laughs> in another softball game against Shir Tikva at Forte Field. Oh, oh, yes, they're going to school them. All right. <laughs> they're going to learn who's, who knows how to play. Um, to wrap up our Shavuot celebrations, our Kesher Israeli group invites members and friends of all ages to the Kramer Zisk backyard for Shavuot harvest celebration of Israeli music and dance, starting at 5.30 tomorrow with a bring your own picnic dinner, followed no, by... No, 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 no. What? Bring your own? No, we're, we're providing dinner. There's food. Do not bring your own. We'll Do not start bring food. at 5.30. Don't bring your own. <laughs> there will be dinner. Um, dinner, followed by Israeli dancing, singing with accompaniment. Will there be accompaniment? Yes. OK, good. Um, <laughs> there will be dinner, which is why you don't need to bring it. <laughs> and Israeli treats and sweets at 6.15. Please register on the calendar to receive the exact address. OK, that's being allowed in. On Tuesday at 7, all are welcome to attend Generations of Pride, a virtual LGBTQ plus panel discussion and celebration. Join CDT members Evie Beck and Edit Klein, along with Director of Congregational Learning, Ernest Venner, for a look back and glimpse into the future. Friday at 6.30, um, we have a renewed Arab Shabbat community potluck barbecue and it is it's in several places it's hosted by sarah berklin and roy edelstein Toda rabat to them it's their idea and they've been 
uh, driving it, please visit the members only sign up page on the CDT calendar to get the exact address. You must be logged into the website to see it. Next Shabbat, all are welcome to join us at 10 in the sanctuary or on Zoom for Pride Shabbat morning services and B'mitzvah celebration of Liam Ofer Michaels as we celebrate LGBTQ plus Pride with special readings and Torah study. Liam will be called to the Torah officially at Temple Sinai in Brookline on June 25th my birthday, but that's a, not <laughs> irrelevant. But we are all thrilled that they will lead the Torah service and have an aliyah in honor of becoming a Jewish adult here at Dorche. And please don't forget to RSVP via evite.com and Zoom, if you're attending virtually, to the upcoming members meeting on June 12th from 4.30 to 6, where we will vote on the next board slate, honor those board members stepping down, and vote on the 5783 budget. We will close the service with a final song, a kiddush blessing, after which all are welcome to stay, except for the people on Zoom, sorry, <laughs> for a kiddush lunch provided, uh, sponsored by Emmanuel students, and for those here in person, please be sure to put your cedar room back on either side of the sanctuary and return your name tags as you leave. Shabbat shalom to everyone. Whew, Yasha Kalach Sherry, that was awesome. If someone could grab the challah that's back there and bring it up, that would be awesome. Page 459. Bitter and and mozi and then we will actually eat downstairs. I, Dennis, can we just keep the Zoom open so folks can say hi to each other if they want afterwards? Great. So Zoomers, if you want to hang around, it'll be open. You can leave it open. Come back for the discussion at 1245 or schmooze or not. Page 465, I invite you to rise. Visham Ruvene Yisrael et HaShabbat Lasot et HaShabbat Lidoro Tam Berit Olam Bene Uvein Bene Yisrael Oti Leolam Ki Sheshet Yamim Asa Adonai Toshamayim Vyet Haaretz ובביום השביעי שבת וינפש אל קיין ברח ארנה יום השבת ויקדשהו God bless the Shabbat day No, we're not, we, we, we're not supposed to take our mask off All right. Keep it holy Savrei chavirai Baruch et Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Borei peri hagaf L'chaim Take a quick drink and put your mask back on L'chaim, L'chaim Hala, we're going to eat downstairs, but I'll bless it up here. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam borei am ha'motzi lachem min ha'aret. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Yashar koach to all who participated. See you downstairs. Goodbye, Zoomer folks.